Oh, please put your hands together and give a warm welcome, won't you, to Nestor Rodriguez. <laughs> Puerto Rico! Yeah. Puerto Rico! Yeah. This is a public service announcement, y'all. You know the Puerto Ricans are carefully situated in the, in the club, so ladies, watch your purses. <laughs> Guys, watch your ladies. Alright? And waitresses, make sure you uh, collect the tabs way before the end of the show. What's up? What's up? How you doing? So, um, have you guys noticed how street slang has been getting lazier and lazier and more condensed over the decades? It's like in the 70s, uh, you may have heard someone say something like, Hey, my brother, right on. In the 80s, you may have heard someone say, Yo, bro, alright. In the 90s, we started hearing things like, Yo, B, I. Like, yo, <laughs> no, I know for a fact. I know for a fact that there's a conspiracy in my dog is down. Settle down, guys. <laughs> no, I know there's a conspiracy. Conspiracy to keep my dog down. I know this for a fact. See, when you have the size of more liquor proof increasing while the price decreases, guess what, guys? Welfare increases. This is not something new, right? When I was a kid, 32 ounces of beer cost way over a dollar, right? 32 ounces, the court has been replaced with the 40, right? Now, depending on what neighborhood you live in, you can get up to two 40s of Shazam more than the for 99 cents. Okay? Now, that's not somebody trying to hook you on stupid, I don't know what it is. Huh? I don't see them giving you two bachelor's degrees for 99 cents. Right? Now, I'm convinced that the language of hip hop is a secret form of commercialized retardation. <laughs> okay, let's let's take a look at the language of hip hop. Yee, grown up, not me, not the same. Holla! What the hell are they talking about? What I want to know is where I send the check-in for the transcript for this. <laughs> Can you imagine the president of the United States in the year 2040? We're in trouble, y'all. We're in trouble. <laughs> now, have you ever wondered why people go dancing? Why people spend money and time waiting online to go dancing? I come up with two reasons. Two reasons. Reason number one, to meet ugly people. <laughs> because in the dark, everyone is gorgeous. Right? Reason number two, to do moves that they feel they absolutely, positively need to do, but can't get away with doing under normal everyday circumstances. Right? Because, because you would never go into a Burger King and be like, Now, now you guys, what do you guys feel about this stereotype, this pretty psychotic stereotype that white people have no rhythm? <laughs> you, I don't agree with that. I definitely don't agree with that. I think that look, everyone has rhythm, right? Everyone has rhythm. The thing with the white people, right, is that they just haven't learned how to tap into it yet. That's all. That doesn't make them a bad group of people. I mean, it's like Puerto Ricans haven't learned how to invest in stocks. Right? But there's hope. You know? There's hope. It's just a matter of rethinking this good thing, right? So the thing is, when white people, when Puerto Ricans are born, they're listening to things like right? When black people are born, they're listening to stuff like And 
driving that train. My uncle Ladies and gentlemen, James, you're radio station. Forget the river. That's my time. Thank you. You've been playing.